Mike, can you first give us some injury updates on uh, Farabee, Coots, and uh, uh, maybe what the reports are on Wade Allison? Yeah, well, the reports are obviously Wade's playing, which is great news for us. We'll start there. And, uh, um, you know, I got a chance to watch a little bit of their game before our game in Arizona, and uh, and he still got the, the long, curly <laughs> horn chair, and he's still buzzing around the ice all over the place. Um, so his skating looks good. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't watch the game yesterday, but I've heard that uh, that he's already made an impact with their with their group, which is great news. Uh, Coots, uh, we would call it a maintenance day today, uh, so we expect him to uh, to be fully ready to go for tomorrow. <clears throat> Obviously, great to see Joel out there with us today. Um, such an important player for us in so many areas of the game. Uh, you know, obviously he was a little bit limited in what we had him participate in, uh, but still he's, uh, he's, he's ahead of schedule and getting very close. So he was placed on IR on the 9th. Is the earliest he could come back for the Canadians game, or are you anticipating Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't expect him to play for that game necessarily. We want to make sure that we get him into a full practice. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'm not even 100% sure on, on those dates. Uh, I just know that, uh, that getting him out here today, that was the first step. And, uh, and I, I really believe, you know, he has to have a, at least one good practice. I, I shouldn't say that. I mean, we want him involved in a really good practice. Um, you know, we'll take a look at what our schedule gives us the chance to do here. Uh, but getting him out today was, was a really good first step. Yeah, uh, Ellie, I haven't seen Ellie yet today, but I do know that he's he's feeling better. Uh, I'm going to check in with him later. I, I believe he was having an MRI this morning, so I haven't heard anything on that yet. Um, but uh, but I, you know, my understanding is that he's progressing, and uh, and Brass went on the ice today uh, before before we skated. Um, you know, it was a it was a little bit of a um, you know. I don't want to say we limited him in far as far as what he did, uh, but uh, we're still being cautious with that. Is this week a possibility? The end of the week for him, or no? <clears throat> Again, I think the like when we have players like Brass or any of these players that are injured, I think that we have to, uh, you know, there's a medical clearance that they obviously have to to get, but there is also a, a conditioning and and uh, and um, you know even just a like a, a a level that we have to see that they can give us uh, in order to be able to come in and not get hurt, but also help the team and not hurt the team when they're in the lineup. We have to make sure that they're ready to come in and, and do what they can do. I guess speaking with Broussard, he played the one game and yeah. then obviously sat like, what, what kind of drove the decision to, to play him in that game, but then have him sit out? Yeah, you know what, talk, talk to him and uh, he was feeling good. And, uh, and unfortunately, I guess, you know, sometimes when you practice, obviously it's not the same level as a game, got into the game, was still feeling it. So, um, you know, just sort of, uh, precaution right now. Obviously, it's a long year. We want our players in the lineup. We want we want them to be healthy. And we want them to be able to give us 100. Yeah, percent Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess speaking to um, the last two games. Yeah. Obviously, you guys you know, got the two wins. I'm, I'm curious, you know, from your perspective, how close do you think you guys are to getting where you want to be? Obviously, the wins are great. But yeah. Yeah. We're, we're it's a it's I, like I don't want to say we're a long ways away. But uh, I mean, I think that we've, you know, we've taken some steps, uh, but uh, it's going to take time. You know, I, I, that was my conversation uh, to players when we were flying out to, to New Jersey. Is that uh, in my experience and all of my experiences, and I've been a part of this three different times, twice in a good way and once in a, once in a bad way. In all three of those situations, it took time, and uh, and so I, I've seen, um, you know. A great response from the players as far as their attention and their 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 buy into the things that we're saying. Uh, you don't build habits overnight, obviously, and, and the game of hockey is it's too fast of a game to be able to just go out there and think think, think your way through the game. Um, so we're starting to build those habits. We're starting to see um, some of those things start to be applied in the games, and and the players are starting to see the reward of those things when we when we do them. Um, but uh, but like I said, until we start to see it shift after shift, guy after guy, that's when you know it's going to be there. And obviously, right now you see it kind of a shift on, a shift off, one guy on, one guy off, um, and that's that's sort of typical. You you mentioned about you know kind of the idea of thinking it, it yeah. and this is just purely from watching TV. I wasn't sure, sure but yeah. it seemed like at times during those games it looked like. Structurally, it was better, but yeah. it was just slow. Yeah. Is that kind of what you saw as well? That's a fair. That's a fair assessment, and uh, and you know, obviously, there's there's structure and there's systems and there's things that that you know we want to apply and we want to talk about. But at the end of the day, 
if you don't have the right details in the system, if you don't have the right pressure, if you don't kill plays and be physical and win your one-on-ones, then you know all that stuff's going to be irrelevant. So there was times where, yes, uh, it, maybe we were on our heels a little bit. Um, you know that could have been possibly the schedule as well. Obviously, a difficult week there, but uh, but we, we definitely you know we have some ideas and some thoughts that we want to do and the way that we want to play. But but 100%, we have to be aggressive. We have to be on our toes. We have to kill plays, and uh, and that has to be uh, priority number one. How is this message different from what maybe was was preaching? You were there. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I, again, I don't really want to talk about what, what, you know, he was saying or, you know, what we were saying then. Um, really like to focus kind of what's going on right now. Um, you know, what we're really trying to stress right now is, uh, is, you know, we want to be strong without the puck. We want to be strong in our checking game. We want to be able to check the puck back quickly. We want to be able to defend, obviously, but it's really about how quickly we can get the puck back. Uh, we're really spending a lot of time focusing on our play with the puck. Um, you know, as far as our, our execution from our D-men, giving it to our forwards quickly, um, how we transition out of our own zone, how we transition through the neutral zone, the puck support that we need to have, and then making sure that when we have the puck that we don't just give it up easily. Um, you know, I, I think, again, you can have whatever structure you want, whatever system you want. If you have to defend all the time, then you're going to be given up a, a lot of chances, a lot of opportunities. So that's that's been our focus. We're trying to improve our play with the puck. Obviously, still focusing on our play without the puck, uh, but but being better with the puck is going to make us uh, better defensively it's, as well. It's no secret that you guys were struggling offensively for four or five weeks, um, and since you've been there, I, I, the offense has picked up. It, it, one of the players talked about shorter passes and and speed through neutral zone. Uh, anything specific that you're trying to do to, to uh, that's worked so far? Yeah, I, again, I, I think just the focus is is really trying to, you know, if we're playing well, you should, like, when you pause the screen, you should see four or five guys in the picture. If, you know, if we're checking as a five-man unit, if we're attacking as a five-man unit, uh, then we're going to have more options. We're going to be tougher to, to play against both of, with, with and without the puck. So that's, uh, that's a big focus. How important is that structure where you're playing a team I mean, league-wide, there's an emphasis on defensemen joining the play. Yeah. You have a guy like Dougie Hamilton who loves to join the play and shoot the puck from anywhere. How important yeah. is that? Yeah, I, I mean, we saw that our first game in there, and, and obviously that's going to be a challenge for us. Their, their D is very active, you know, whether it's up the rush, uh, whether it's in the offensive zone. Uh, you know, he leads the charge there, but he's not the only one. So that's going to be a challenge, no question. Uh, they play with a lot of speed. That's a fast team, and that's a team that's given us troubles the last couple of years. Um, so we, you know, we approach every game. Uh, it's always about us. It's about our game. It's about being aggressive in our game. But that said, we've got a challenge tomorrow, and we've got to make sure we're ready for it because, uh, again, they, they've, they've taken it to us, and we've got, to, we've got to step up our game against them. You mentioned about, a, you mentioned about you know, not giving the puck up, about puck support. Yeah. Has there been more of an emphasis, especially the last couple of games, on – you know, gaining the offensive zone with control of the puck rather than dumping it in I, like, on the chase. You know what? Like, I, the one thing I'll say is AB, AB was not a guy who ever said, uh, you know, I want you to just dump it all the time. I, but, you know, what I would say is that um, he, he always encouraged offense entries, uh, making plays there when they're there. Uh, every coach is the same. If the defenseman has a, a really good gap and there's, you know, there's no play to be made, then every coach doesn't want you to turn that puck over. Uh, those are obviously dangerous situations. I think understanding that if we're playing our game better, if we're hanging on to the puck uh, longer, if we're forcing them to defend for longer periods of time, that's going to, you know, if we're transitioning better, that's going to create more situations where we do have time and space. That's going to create more opportunities for us to gain the zone with control. And uh, and so, again, that's that's what we're trying to show the players. When we do these things, that's sort of the cause and effect of, of what can come out of it. Mike, if I could just go back to Wade Allison for a second. Do you foresee him jumping in your lineup the moment he's ready, or do you want him to get a certain amount of games down on Lehigh Valley? Yeah, you know, I haven't even <laughs> got a lot of things on the plate right now. I haven't even discussed that. And uh, what I'll say is I've uh, been happy with, obviously, the guys that played uh, lately. They're, our guys, uh, we haven't been perfect, and, and for sure it's a, it's a work in progress. But I, I do hope that one thing that has been evident, because it, it has been very evident to me, has been the work ethic. Um, you see the way that our players are tracking back, the way that they're competing, battling. Um, you know that's that's been very very present, impressive to me. So uh, definitely focused on this group that we have right now and uh, and getting them ready tomorrow.